Sometimes a story needs to be told just for the sake that it's always remembered. This is what I have to do with my dear friend Carl Johnson, or CJ as they call him, which I believe could be one of the greatest basketball players of all time. CJ grew up with me in a rough neighborhood in San Andreas. Uh, he got into some very bad gang fights, eventually moved out to the East Coast to try to get away from it all, but he had to come back because his poor mama suffered from a awful lung cancer and she, you know, she died right as he arrived. It was a very tragic incident, but, you know, he decided he has to stay here, but he decides, you know, when he was out on the East Coast, he wants to hone his basketball skills. He wants to wind up in one of those big cities, maybe the East, maybe California, Texas, Florida, one of those big towns. He, he dreams to be on one of those big teams. So here, you know, you see him warming up with his boom splash, as Chris Moore would say. And you see, he, you know, he's training to get better. He's training to get bigger. The guys on the block saying, you know, you ain't never going to be the size of someone who will be a big man. He says he, he dreams of being a power forward. I see him more as a small forward. I think that's what he'll list himself at college. Uh, maybe he'll bulk up to be a power forward slash small forward. Uh, maybe almost a Carmelo Anthony type player. But here... Ladies and gentlemen, he gets involved with the wrong kind of people. Look how big he has become. He decides to start hanging out with some guys up at the local bar. Uh, this really shady looking guy is giving him some shady looking uh, drugs to take and they have made him huge. Look at him ladies and gentlemen. This man is a beast at basketball. He pushing everyone around. He does whatever he wants, but one thing I've noticed is he's gotten into some really weird rage fits. I, I don't know why. He'll like smash things randomly and he says it's just the roids and he usually recovers right away, but I'm a little bit worried about him. But you see he's draining almost all his shots now. He is a much improved ball player. He's trying to make the other deep one. Oh, the turnaround, 10 meter jumper, the layup makes it look so easy. Here he is, boom. That's something he couldn't do before. He looks like a monster slamming it down. But boom, he's got the range, he's got it. So he's just finished at here at San Andreas High School. Uh, he didn't really go here for the school. He came for his senior year. He left after his sophomore year. And uh, he actually was in a, a, a public school back in New York. But anyway, he's got some scouts. And all the big schools want him. Kentucky, Kansas, Miami, Florida. Uh, all the big schools, all the local schools want this man on their team. Boom, can he hit it? 15! That's 15.7 meters! That's a half-court shot jumper! But here he is at the local bar, he finds out the dealer doesn't have anything for him, and that he's trying to clean his life up. CJ makes sure he can't clean up his life. This is an awful tragedy. This woman is just trying to walk away, and that he gets into one of his fit of rages. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, he's slashing everything. Look at this poor man over here. He didn't do anything to deserve this. But CJ is on a rampage. Nobody knows about this yet. He's tried to get out of this life, but it's followed him back. This is how he was raised. This is what he learned to do. This is his own crew that he's beaten up right here. That's one of his best friends. He's a police officer or is a potential threat. Takes him out, and now he's got a deadly weapon on him. This poor woman, one of his biggest fans in high school, actually. You see the jersey she had on. That was the 31 that he used to wear. It's real sad. Here he is. He is just these poor cops. This is rival gang members. They actually try to run away because they don't, you know, they don't want to get involved in this thing right now. He's grabbing ammo left and right. Sees this poor woman in here. My goodness, he is just taking out everybody. I'm watching from a distance. I hear about this and I drive over, but I have to drive away. You see, the, did you see that red car drive past? That was me. I see the situation, and here he is done. He's just, you know. Luckily, CJ survived this event, but just narrowly, ladies and gentlemen, I mean narrowly, a bullet penetrated right into his chest, but because, surprisingly, because of this giant body he had built himself up, the bullet was stopped <clears throat> almost right away. Uh, his leg and knee especially were tor torn up. He worked with the local stars around here to help build his knee up. He actually met with the doctor who's known for... Uh, Fixing up Adrian Peterson and RG3 and Marcus Lattimore. Uh, he's worked with all those guys. And he, he met with him and the doctor didn't want to work with him at first because he didn't think that he would be that that kind of person he wants to represent. But, you know, he worked really well. He really cleaned up his image because 
he didn't think you know all these schools retracted their scholarships the one school allowed him to get one tryout that was Miami invited him he felt so fortunate fortunate to be on Miami that he he immediately accepted the offer and decided to join his freshman year he he was benched for multiple reasons he thought he should have more playing time so he yelled at the coach one of his his rages when he was still recovering from his lack of his you know of his this his this drug problem we find out he was on pretty much every drug he was on uh, you know just your standard everything I don't know it was it was pretty bad and so he was he was experiencing the side effects at this but but not to the extent where he couldn't play it was just where it detracted him and still caused him to kind of get those fits of rage um, so his freshman season he was benched sophomore season he he came back and he actually led his team to the final four could you believe it it, it was it was it was pretty crazy um, but he just felt just short of the championship it was, it was real sad. His, his teammate and his roommate actually was a senior, missed a three-pointer that was wide open to win the game. And oh my goodness, his, his teammate felt so bad. All the NBA scouts immediately looked away because they felt he couldn't perform in the clutch. And CJ, you know, wanted revenge. His junior season, he came back and he made it to the championship game. Could you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? He did it. He did it for his senior friend against North Carolina. Now, he had the open three to take. He just had to make this open three to win the national championship, and it rimmed in and out. It rimmed in and out. It was crazy. But then his senior year, revenge. He got to face North Carolina again. This is the season, this is the, you know, this is his whole life, what he's, what he's lived for. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. And he's about to put on a show. But we'll see. It comes down to a shot in the end. Can he make it and forever be at least enshrined in college glory? Or will he be just like his friend and be ignored by all the NBA scouts? We'll see. We'll watch the highlight game and uh, we'll see. And we'll move on later into the into the NBA. But for now, thank you for uh, watching that little backstory on C.J. Carl Johnson. Um, you know he had an interesting life, and you'll see how he does here at Miami. He's still an excellent ball player. And uh, stay tuned for more life story on C.J. as we follow his life through basketball. So. See you guys after the highlights. All right, we're stopping not the highlights here. With a nice little crossover move under the basket and just an easy little layup there shows his strength. He redrives across the baseline, easy lay-in. Uh, you'll see most of his plays are a little flashy. There he pops back for a three. Uh, like you know, like we saw, he grew up in a tough neighborhood and he he's been through some stuff and he wants to be the best. He's very cocky, so especially at uh, Miami. Here he pops back for another three. Boom! That's money. That's what they call him. They call him money. That's what he wants to be. Oh, look at that sexy little hook shot. Here a nice little fake spin putting on so many moves and an easy little fadeaway jumper there. Look at that range just like he was practicing back in San Andreas. Look at the steal. Doesn't even realize it. And then he just throws it down with authority. Something he doesn't do much. He's not that big of a dumb girl. Oh, spin move. Turn around jumper. Ooh. Another throwback here at the end of the game to win the game. Boom! It's money. With six seconds left, he hits the game winning shot. Those are his college highlights, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, we're going to see how he transitions here when we watch the rookie showcase. This is what CJ has been waiting for his entire life the NBA rookie showcase to showcase his talents. All right, we're going to start out. We win the tip. Here we are, we're gonna start out. Johnson with the fadeaway shot. He sinks it right away, his first shot. Uh, we're gonna see he has an all right game. Gets the ankle breaker spin, and he draws the foul. So an all right overall game here so far. Um, you know, that's how it's gonna turn out the whole game. But, you know, I felt like it established him as an all right draft pick. You know, I feel like it played to his abilities and showed how it can be. Uh, so we sink both the free throws right there. You know that was that was very nice. Got that that hood uh, Snoop Dogg type free throw. Oh, we should have been an easy assist there. Marshall blew the assist. All right, look how we're baiting the defense here, seeing what they're gonna give us. So they give us the fade away. Oh, but it's missed. It's off target. So we're gonna have to run back. Show that tenacious defense. They call a foul, but I don't think so. 
you know, and we're showing that we're a, a, we're a fighter. You know, we've been through some stuff. Oh, look at this driving, showing that strength. See, we're showing how, you know, we've been through some tough things in this life. Here we go again, and we get the Knights defense to stop it, and we get the rebound, too. See, you know, I think we're showing how we, we're fast, we're strong, we're up, we have the ability to make hustle plays. Look, are we going to have to do it again here? What are we going to do? Get a body in there? And he misses it because of our body contact, see? So, you see, Marshall bringing it up. Uh, he's going to get it inside to me. What am I going to do? Again, feeling for the defense. Will I try for a little hook shot here? No, a little jumper. That's a poor shot. Ooh, almost goes in, but it's tipped back in. Yeah, that was a poor shot selection, but uh, I thought he was going to do a hook, which would drive baseline. It doesn't go, but we get the steal, and then we put it up again, and we miss it again. Oh, so we're showing we're a little bit unconfident coming out here. Um, well, maybe not unconfident, but a little bit shaky. Uh, let's see, can we get the hook here? No, but we can drive in and get a nice little layup. So we're, we're playing good around the rim. Uh, we get some good mid-range jumpers, and here we get a three. CJ shooting three. Oh, what was that, 2K? An A minus wide open fader? You don't give it to me? Dang, that was tough. All right, so we're having an all right first half. Again, neutral. We're probably going to be a, a teens. Oh, we get posterized inside. My goodness, was that Robinson or Kid Gilchrist? We get posterized. That'll be on someone's wall. We got to come back and do that to someone later on, though. Maybe not in this game, but maybe in our NBA career. Oh, look at the brow making the moves. Don't say I'm copying Chris Moon because I call him the Brow. That's a nickname that everybody calls him, all right? So just getting that out of there. All right, we'll see what Andre can do. Pass it back, Andre. You see, my player is kind of aggressive. He's calling for the ball. Take a shot. Take a shot. No, we get a nice pass to Dion. See, we can be a little bit selfish, but we'll find the man if he's open. So now we're on defense here. And we played, well, maybe not statistically, we played a very good uh, overall defensive game. They didn't score too well on us besides a couple easy scores like this one, but we blows it and we get the rebound. See, we're, make, we're being a body there. Oh, we pass it up. Can we get the assist? No. Oh, Dion let it go right out of his hands. No call. He kind of looked like uh, Usher there. Am I the only one who saw that? Yeah, waiters kind of looking like, oh, putting on the moves, fade away, swish. Woohoo! That was a nice move putting on by CJ, uh, Carl Johnson. It's such a nerdy name. That's why I go by CJ or Money. That's why I like the name Money. But, uh, it's all right. Oh, Leonard driving in. We get the board. He misses. We're bringing it up. We're gonna be a little slow. No, we pass it up to the brow. The brow. Oh, they're taking our assists away, but we get a pass to foul. We should have like five assists at least. Oh, look at that contact layup. Look at that contact layup showing our incredible strength. A little bit of that bodybuilder body still back after, uh, you know, after the incident. We didn't lose all our strength. We, we built it back up through actual weight training. Let's look at this defense. Make him pass it out. No more posters for you, sir. Oh, but Damien puts the moves on our man. Dang. All right, Roten's now got it. He's he's in playing. See what are we gonna do? We're gonna. Oh, look at this! Give me that. Swish. That was too easy. The defender can't play that loose on CJ. That ain't how it's gonna work. Jeremy Lamb has been having a great game, but he misses here, and we get another board. So, what do we got around three or four boards? We got four, so that's all right. We're showing how we can be a, a good big man at that at that small forward position. But we need more assists. We should have like five more, like I said. But we're we're all right. Oh, for three, swish. We're up by five. Now we're up by four again. Gonna give it to Marshall. That's an assist. Give me that assist, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have that D plus teammate grade. That's what's gonna kill us in this draft. Oh, how does that go? The last shot of the game for us. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, you know, thank you for watching this backstory plus the first rookie showcase. This video took 
like a full afternoon. It's literally like 1 p.m. or like yeah, like 1 a.m. I guess it is 11:50. I started this. It took like 12 hours, not full on, but to record, to set up the game, to edit, to do all that, get the right music, get right everything. These videos take a while, so I'm probably gonna only upload maybe one or two of. The, no, I'm gonna go for one a week. Um, that's all I can promise you guys to try to be consistent. But I hope you enjoyed. Please like if you like this backstory type thing. I will be bringing in different games for backstory. Maybe be bringing in a very deep. Do you want a deeper backstory? Or do you want more basketball? I mean, I can provide both. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you as always for watching. Uh, and tune in next time to see CJ's adventures. Uh, you know, see how he does in the pre pre-draft interviews and then the draft and how he does in his, you know, beginning. So thank you guys for watching and until next time I'll see you.